Hi guys, and welcome back to Switch Up. It's the beginning of a new month, and as such, we're giving away our free monthly game. Please check the top comment to see who's won. Congratulations to you. Make sure you subscribe if you want to be in with a chance each month. And the irony of promoting the summer is on sale from Cubic Games isn't uh, lost on me as I stare at the torrential rain pouring down outside. Still, they have some incredible deals and we always appreciate the support they give our channel and I'll stick a link in the top pin comment and the description that will take you to the summer is on sale full details page and there's some contests to take part in to win one of 40 different Nintendo Switch game codes which begins today and ends I believe on June the 20th. There are some ridiculously good prices here and I'll do little mini reviews as always of each of the games. What's on sale? Well, let's find out. First up is the lovely Retro Dex, which is actually an open world RPG. The early game combat is a tiny little bit clunky, but the actual overworld story and that non-linear gameplay is really fun. What's also nice is that it has full voice acting. It's one of those titles where you often have a choice in how to handle certain situations, whether you want to use stealth or try and talk your way out of it, hack a panel and sneak round, or... Uh, run away. I always like having those choices. It takes a little bit of getting into this one. I think a lot of people have played like the first hour and said, oh no, it's not for me. But if you push past that by its conclusion, it's a very enjoyable game indeed. And I think you'll get a lot out of the storyline. It has that lovely aesthetic. I think the side scrolling nature actually works really well and is a bit deceptive in terms of the scale of the game. It's a six gigabyte download and it will take you about 15 to 20 hours to do everything. That's 90% off taking it down to £1.79 or your regional equivalent. So far so good, I'm going to stick with their order because next up is Blazing Beaks, which I love. It's a great game. It's another from Cubic Games, but it has a really interesting mechanic. Now, this is a roguelite title where you'll be working through different stages and at the end of each stage you visit a shop. Now, the interesting thing here is that the pickups that you get in the game are actually negative. So you'll pick something up and it will reduce all of your stats. But when you get to the shop, if you can get to the shop with those reductions, you essentially swap the negatives for positives and it will massively improve your abilities to do well in the next level. I also like that the game can be played with one or two players in co-op. That's probably my favourite way to play games like this, things like The Binding of Isaac. But there is a four player versus mode, which can be a lot of fun if you've got like your family around and you have like a winner stays on style battle. It worked well for us. Press... <laughs> probably send that because I won but uh, yeah good game I enjoy it and well worth the an absolute steal at £1.34 90% off until June the 20th next up then we've got tools up from all in games and this is an awesome little party game for up to four people that you can play in co-op. This one's 80% off, taking it down to £3.59. And it essentially takes one of life's most stressful events, that would be moving house, and turns it into a ludicrous physics-based couch co-op experience that, much like something like Overcooked, can be an absolute blast. This time you'll have a timer running in the background and you'll be racing to try and undertake a renovation project in as quick a time as possible. A bit like those old 90s shows, do you remember? They'd come in and do a room in like a day and you know the whole thing was made of MDF. <laughs> Man, I, mean, I wonder how long they lasted after filming stopped. <laughs> Probably walked out the door and the whole set just collapsed. <laughs> if you get into this one, there's a ton of DLC as well. You've got the garden party DLC, including building a tree house, which is just amazing. And the renovation spree bundle. So there's loads to do and potential expand to if you really enjoyed the game. It's a 1.9 gigabyte download and definitely a fun one if you've got a group of you. That sale ends on June the 27th. Now Tiny Lands is actually a brand new game. It comes out today and it essentially takes little dioramas and turns them into puzzles. It looks beautiful. You can change the angle, you zoom in and out to try and help you solve the puzzles, but they really are like tiny little segments of planets with different weather effects going on, lighting. It's a super chill game. The concept is quite simple. It's basically spot the difference, but it's very chill. I actually, yeah, this is a super chill little game. I've been enjoying this and it's only £4.31. That's 20% off and that sale goes on until June the 20th.
next up and it just wouldn't be right to do a Cubic Games and All In Games sales video without mentioning the legendary now Akane. Now it's a very simplistic game. It's one button to attack, one button to dodge, and you have a special move that you can gradually build up. You've either got a small version of it which swipes you through enemies and killing everyone in the path, or if you can store up enough, then you can just clear the entire screen. After every 100 enemies, there's a boss fight, and that's simply it. It's very, very easy to get into. You've got a right stick for using your gun, so you can use either your katana, or you can use your pistol. There are upgrades to unlock, and I think if you know how simplistic it is, then when you come in, you're not going to be like, oh, I'm disappointed, it's, there's not much to it. Actually, this is the perfect game to just pick up and play for a few minutes at a time. The soundtrack is incredible. I very often use it for this video and our other sales series, and it's a ridiculously cheap 80% off, taking it down to 89p or your regional equivalent. Next up, we've got All In Games Metamorphosis. This is 70% off, which is matching its lowest ever price. And it's a really interesting one. It was inspired by Franz Kafka, who is an author who deals with the surreal. And it has an Alice in Wonderland aesthetic to it, right down to shrinking you down to the scale of a bug. It's very bizarre. You'll come across characters having conversations or other insects who you can engage with. It's really quite unusual but i loved it it's environmental puzzles and there are a few physics ones in here as well and you can only stick to a surface for a set amount of time so you're trying to figure out how to traverse these bookshelves and other normal environments and it just it just works well it's not the longest game ever i would have liked it to be a little longer take you around about four or five hours but it does tell a really good story it's 4.3 gigs and a nice bite-sized little adventure if you're looking for something that you can play and complete in a weekend the sale also includes the excellent bit trip runner game which is part of the bit trip series and i think it's the one that glenn liked the most we reviewed it on the channel you control commander video who's basically launching from one side to the other and you're jumping obstacles kicking sliding trying to get to the other side standard endless runner for today but done really well there are more than 50 different levels to work your way through a lovely chiptune soundtrack and the compulsive gameplay that you'd expect from this genre the other games in the bit trip series are also on sale essentially you could get like was it one two three four five six of them for around a tenner which is an absolute steal. I can guarantee you're going to play one and get absolutely hooked and just end up buying your way through the entire series. But if you are thinking of doing that, then perhaps do it while they're 60% off. I'd say another essential pickup in this sale is Hyper Parasite. It can be played with one or two players locally, and it's a roguelike twin stick shooter. Yes, how many times have we heard those words said on this channel, but some of them stand out above the others, and at 87% off, taking it down to £1.86, this is definitely one of them. There are 60 different characters, but you play as the alien, which is always nice, using your gigantic tentacles to snatch up all those hapless fools, with an end goal of pushing a button and destroying in the world there are five acts to work your way through loads of different secrets a very cool soundtrack and just a brilliant fun game to play with a friend perhaps this one passed you by or you weren't sure about it mark my words for one pound 86 it is well worth it it's a two gigabyte download let me know how you get on with it if you decide to take the plunge Next up, we've got Door Kickers. You might have heard of Door Kickers Action Squad, which by the way, you should definitely own because it's amazing. But this is Door Kickers, the top-down action strategy simulation game. It's not turn-based. It all takes place in real time and you'll have to pick out your equipment, plan your entries into rooms to breach and clear. And you do have the option of pausing the combat so that you can make some decisions. And I like the system, it works well. There are five different trooper classes and it's standard anti-terrorist stuff. Think something like Rainbow Six Siege, but from a top-down perspective. It's single player only though, so it's not an online game. And if you're in the market for a simplistic action strategy, this might be one for you to consider. Now it's one gigabyte to download and currently 
currently £4.50, which is 58% off and that's the cheapest it's ever been. Go and check out some full reviews of this one and see what you think of it. Then we've got the now very well known Mana Spark. Now, I knew nothing about it when it came out, but it's currently 89p and you can buy the Forgotten Crypts DLC for £1.79. I'd say buy them together as it was that DLC which added for me the most essential feature for improving the game and that was a local co-op mode. It's so much more fun with another person. I mean I really enjoyed it on my own and it follows those standard roguelike principles of moving through different areas, different stages, fighting a boss. It's quite a chill game. It has a hub area where you gradually unlock new characters that can then add upgrades to your character and actually in many ways it's, it bears a few similarities in that regard to something like Children of Mortar. It doesn't have quite the same overarching story but it does have a lot of charm. I like this a lot and that little DLC that's also very cheap, uh, just over a pound, adds a new character, new scenarios, new enemies and 31 new items. Mana Spark's a great little game, I really enjoy it. I know as with all things not everyone enjoys the same things but if you've watched the channel for a while and we tend to agree you like things like The Binding of Isaac, I think you'll enjoy this one 90% off at just 89p. To finish off then, we've got an announcement of a new game coming on the 2nd of July and that's Epistory Typing Chronicles. This was originally released back in 2016 and is an action adventure typing video game that features a young girl who rides a fox with three tails and has really good scores across the board which, I mean, let's be honest, is quite a rare thing for typing based video games. And this one follows the writer's process which unfolds on the screen and it's narrated as well. The developer made it really clear that they wanted to make this actually feel like an enjoyable game and not a typing application. And that is literally a quote that you can find online. Judging by its Metacritic score of 74 out of 100, they actually managed to achieve that. And I'm strangely intrigued to find out how they did it. This isn't one that I've played, obviously, because it's not out yet, but they did want you to know that it's coming out and to keep an eye out for it if it's something that you're interested in. So that's it for this this little sale obviously we'll have our normal sale on sunday thanks to cubic games for sponsoring this one and for letting me pick out my favorite games in your sale and if i say the word sale anymore we'll have to turn this into some kind of drinking game which might be fun <laughs> judging by the weather outside my goodness thanks to our patrons who support us each and every week and as always for all things switch all the time keep it switch up cheers guys see ya